Good morning guys, welcome to a brand new day. Today is Saturday, Sam and I are headed out to do some shopping, to look at some fun stuff, to go visit our trainers. Just joking, we got nothing. We can't go anywhere, you guys. Like, there's nothing fun in life right First, now. Nice. All right, so are we getting coffee first? Well, I don't need coffee, I don't drink coffee. Oh, post office, meaning the mail. But the mail doesn't come on Saturdays in Canada. Does it come? But there was none. We drove by and there was none. None. Told him. Anyways, welcome to today. We are actually hand headed out. There are some non-essential type thing. Well, uh, basically, we're out to do essential things. Essential. We're going to um, get coffee. <laughs> We're gonna get coffee because coffee, coffee is essential. Yeah, I have a busy day planned for all of us. That's the, I'm the I'm the planner in our family. I'm the one that says, "Nope, you're staying in bed all day. Get up and let's have fun." Gabby is planning to stay in bed all day. She is really feeling the lockdown. Really feeling the loss of her friends. She's really feeling it the most out of all of us. And I understand she's a teenager going through all the teenager emotions, and she really just wants to be with her friends. But anyway, we're headed out, and today. I am going to ride my Penny Pickle. I haven't been able to ride her for at least four days. And the last few times I've ridden her, what I've been working on is she's been telling me how to ride her. When I try and ride her the way I've been trained, she says, no, that's not it. Do it this way. And actually, if I just listen to her, it's genius. So I'm learning to ride her. To, I'm learning to steer her with my body, not with my legs and not with my hands. I don't know if it's correct. It's what she wants and what Penny wants, Penny gets. I know all you guys are gonna be like, no, you're the boss of her. But I'm trying something different. I'm trying something different, you guys. And so far, it's working well. How was Penny this morning when you let her out? Good. Good. My girl is good. I let her walk nice and slow. And you don't let her run? I'll let you guys let her run. She walks right beside me. I know. Slow. She does that. She does that with me too. But sometimes I'm just like, okay, fine, go, because. I'm trying to vlog and there's just so much going on. But if it was just me and her, I would do that too. And I have done it. Anyway, Sam, everybody wants to know. Okay, nobody wants to know, only I want to know. How did you feel when our girl walked past you with your hand held out with a treat to walk over to me? How did that make you feel? I'll tell you the truth. I saw her, she was looking at me, she was coming towards me. And then I saw in her eye, she said, I have to go to Laura. I said, okay, go. And she went. I believe that. I did you actually are you actually like telling that for for the real? Cuz that's exactly what she did. She looked at Sam, she looked him in the eye and she said, "I love you, but I have to go to her." I I felt her say that. I saw her say, "You guys probably saw her say that." She was walking, she was looking at him. She looked at me and then she looked at him and she gave him a look and she was saying, I acknowledge you, I recognize you, I love you too, but I have to choose her. Like, I ought to cry just saying that. I saw that. Like, that video is so powerful for me. I don't know if you guys felt it the way I felt it, but man, I felt it. And I can't believe you felt it. You never feel nothing. But that's what she did. That is what she did. She wanted to go to him too, but she chose me, which is what makes it even more amazing. We have to go to the post office too. Yes. Okay, all right, just so you know. Anyway, that is Car Talk with Laura and Sam. We'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, so there's my package, you guys. One that they didn't deliver. The minute I picked it up, I'm like, that's why they didn't deliver. It was too heavy, and the lady said, yeah, it was way too heavy for the lady to deliver. Apparently, I ordered it, and it's wooden. It's made out of wood, you guys. Same thing happened when I broke my pelvis. I was allowed to go home from the hospital. I had to take an ambulance home. Sam ordered me this big, heavy, amazing mechanical chair, but nobody would deliver it so i timed my trip home from the hospital to when it was supposed to be delivered and we had to phone it took days and days because nobody would deliver it okay so here's my lecture for today we picked up jack's present apparently it's made of wood so i told you guys in an earlier video that i was sitting and looking out the window when the driver came and sat and gave me a card saying pick up your package at this time and really i felt like she could have just delivered it we were all home sitting right there and she didn't even try and drive in the driveway and i was really upset but then now after picking it up myself i realized that it is so hot heavy like really heavy that one lo oh dropped my phone that one lone woman driving and trying to deliver a package should not have to carry it it is an awkward shape and it would could do damage even to you so here's what i want to say about it i want to say that yeah i could still be mad and be like yeah that's your job you're supposed to deliver heavy packages but in reality would how would you feel if somebody expected you to do something that was really difficult for you um 
just because it would make your life easier. I really truly believe you should try and see things from everybody else's perspective. That when you look at situations from somebody else's perspective, it enables you to have compassion and empathy for other people. And that's what makes the world go round. That's what draws people to you. That's how you relate to people is through empathy and compassion. So I could have been harsh and been like, it's your job, you should have delivered it anyway. Or I could think of it through her eyes and realize that if I had a job and I had to physically lift really hard things like that and still um, on a regular basis, the damage it would do to my body. So I can see why she didn't deliver it and I can totally understand and it makes total sense to me now and I don't have to feel upset or frustrated or angry about it at all. So we just checked the P.O. box. We got a ton of cards. They all look like Christmas cards, you guys, or at least a lot of Christmas cards. That's amazing. It's COVID sucks and how long it took for them to get to us. It's January, but I'm still excited to get your cards and your letters and to get to know you guys through them. Anyway, today I got another installment of the Laura Elsie Grace mystery. If you guys have been following along, you know that this other girl, this YouTube channel, Laura Elsie Grace it's called, um, has been sending me coded messages for me to try and figure out uh, uh, mystery. So the last one, I, I keep every message. I'm going to read you guys this one. I know a lot of you guys are trying to figure out the last message because a lot of you guys sent me uh, what you thought the code was. So this is what it looks like, all beautifully typed. This is from November, you guys. So at last it was a happy morning in Scotland. He could hear the horses stomp their hooves and men trying to control their breath. He had just told a man named James, we are not here to make peace, but to do battle to defend ourselves and liberate our kingdom. His voice rasped with a sturdy Scottish accent. The battle will begin shortly. Anticipation arose across the campsite as silence crept in every corner, looking for a way out. In the distance, footsteps could be perceived as William's sworn enemies marched to the bridge. It was time. Swiftly, he gave his men the sign and shouted invigorating words, Be brave! William held up his broad hand to hold back his army until the last possible second. Last, with his heart beating wildly in his chest, his hand dropped to his side. The battle ensued. The battle cry echoed over the surrounding hills and passed them. A battle cry unlike Scotland had ever heard. A victory was won that day. Perhaps you as well will be victorious in acquiring your next clue. Holy heck, this is beyond me, you guys. Okay, here's the clue, you guys. What day did William Wallace take his last breath? William Wallace, what day did he take his last breath? Make no mistake, though simple, this may be one of the uttermost salient clues you'll receive. So please, for the sake of your time, do not take it with a grain of salt. May you continue only on the right path. All the best, Laura. Okay, so we just need to figure out when William Wallace took his last breath. Okay, so there you have it. That is the second clue. That's the second clue. Hopefully, when all of my letters come, I will remind you guys what all the clues are and see if we can figure it out together. So, I stopped at the tack store, and on today's tack, this week's tack haul is Equine Choice Probiotic. And I also got Penny this. You guys know that she chews her salt licks. She doesn't even lick them. So Sam made me get one that will be harder for her to chew. I always wonder if she's chewing her salt lick because her teeth are uneven, like one side of her teeth is longer than the other. Our vet has been filing them down, but he has to do it slowly over time. So when I do my uh, vaccinations this year, when the horses get their vaccinations, they will he will file them down again until they're even. So I always wonder if like it's an awkward feeling for her. So she tries to chew to uh, file her teeth down. The probiotic that I bought, that's three months worth. Every time we buy a new horse, I always start them on a course of probiotics. And the reason is probiotics really help their hind gut to work better so that they can process their food better. And uh, I always feel like it's super important, especially after a horse has gone through stress. Anytime you move a horse from one home to another, 
That's stressful. You guys know what you guys know what Penny was like when I bought her. She uh, was super stressed when she moved here, and so um, I'm gonna do a course with that. I also got one for Chino Bambino because he took a lot of antibiotics, and, and antibiotics can cause a lot of issues with your gut health and so just like with people so i'm gonna give that to him if you're thinking that my tack haul was a little light today then it was i actually ordered a bunch of stuff they, everywhere i shop right now there is no supply there's no supply because of covid everything is running low so i ordered more treats to help us in our course and i ordered some really amazing poultice that I can't wait to show you guys. I think it's really gonna help Chino. There they are. Hello. She's like, play with me. She doesn't want you, she wants me. Gracie's like, I will play with you. Yes, one, I got one purring and one snuffing. And then we got a kitty over there. Okay, I'm gonna try and get my girl and bring her in. You think I have more treats? She's like, remember that day when you all played with me and gave me treats? Do it again. We're going to do it again tomorrow. Tomorrow is treat day, okay? We're going to work with you tomorrow. Yeah. All right. Where's Oh, there she is. Oh, she nickered. She nickered to me. It's a, look at the eyes are still clear. Holy heck. We cleared her eyes. Put your, put your nose in there. Very good girl. Oh, I know. I can't do it with one hand. What a happy pony. What a happy pony. When they nicker to you, you know it's going to be a good day. Do you guys remember when the girls hydro dipped these saddle pads? Isn't it cool? Like it held up so well. This is going to be only my second ride this week. I find that if I come down without the camera and just jump on and ride, I'm able to get more ride time in. Otherwise, I have so much time that's, otherwise I spend so much time with homeschool and house cleaning and, and other barn and all that kind of stuff that I won't have enough time. So this is only my first ride this week on camera. Right, Penny Pickle with the gorgeous eyes? Oh, you're, and her eyes are so much softer. seen those faces I've heard all the lies but you ain't gazing on someone in denial cause you want dollar bills right now but you gotta work real hard I know you want it to be easy so let your guard a busy Saturday I have to go I couldn't spend too much time riding today because I have to go and walk hand walk Chino Bambino Gabby's going on a trail ride with a friend yes goodbye sweet girl goodbye go play with your friends go out there and eat lots of hay out there for you see you later so Gabby and Paige are gonna go on a trail ride outside we're allowed to have five people and they have to keep people in our bubble and Paige is in our bubble so we're keeping it at that. Trying to obey all the laws, you guys. Trying to obey them and still exercise our horses. And exercise ourselves, too. So let's go. Let's go to the barn. All right, who are you riding today? Either Chino or Finn. I don't think Chino's gonna be ready. Al said Chino runs like every morning to his friends. He lets them out, runs all the way to the big theater. Yeah, so we told the owner like he's still lame. And the owner said, well, if he's still lame, somebody better tell him because uh, he said, somebody better tell Chino he's still lame because when he lets him out in the morning, he loses it. He goes galloping. All right, yeah, okay, let's go. We're gonna go and get ready. 
Don't want you to get your heart set on him being okay though. Yeah, he needs to go for a walk. Anyways, I'm just gonna walk him and take him for a long walk and video it. Cause the snow is coming down. The snow is coming down, you guys. You gotta be taking the long way, see who beats. Okay, I'm worried that the sound is gonna go out of my camera. Oh, cheater. <laughs> All our horses are standing in the trees. I don't know why. Uh-oh, Storm's like, I'm out of here. You can't take me. What a bum. It makes me sad that he walks away now. <laughs> Gabby just said, that's not your color. If she's gonna, if Chino's still lame, she's gonna take uh, Finn. You don't think red? They're almost the same color. Storm and Chino. I don't think he has a good color. So I'm buying some medicated, medicated cream. A poultice. Oh yeah, that is not his color. Yeah. And I, I think it's gonna work for him. Yeah, this is what happened. I just stand in here, minding my own business, puts his shoulder right on top of me. <laughs> He's adorable. Over here. Doesn't look swollen. Let's see. Oh, it's actually a lot better. Alright, I'm gonna try and take a video of him moving. Um, Send it to Fiona. He looks he only looks good in leather halters. Red's not his color, blue's not his color. It's leather halters. Oh, he does love you. No, he knows me as treat lady. He knows me as treat lady. He knows you as screaming on her. Do not eat her. Oh shirt. no! <laughs> no, he likes zippers. He likes to zip it up and down. Let's see him do your zipper. Don't, lots of expensive coat. Don't let him do that zipper. Look, I hate those blankets that the clip, the clips break all the time. I don't know. He's done it to me before. He's like been like this. I know. This. He has. So we're noticing big changes in him. He's not like sensitive oh, now. Notice all his like redhead hairs are growing so fast compared to his brown So you're hair. saying he's part redhead? Yes. He so, <gasps> his sheath is not swollen anymore. Good job, Chino. Love it. Gabby forgot how tall Chino was. She's happy. So basically, we had Fiona look at the videos and she said that he looked like he was moving good. He does have like a stiffness in one leg in the back. He always it's gets- It's always his left hind leg that needs the most attention. Like, he gets swollen, cellulitis in it. Always stiff. It always is stiff. He gets that when he needs the Cairo and she's hopefully coming on Friday. We're, we're just double checking because of the lockdown. But doctors are allowed. Gabby's, she's I'm, technically a vet, isn't she? She is a vet. Yeah, because okay. you have to be a vet or something to be a Cairo. Yeah, so she, he definitely needs Cairo probably from all that changing position to accommodate the sore leg. But yeah, I think we're back in business. Are we back in business? And he's happy. I trimmed it all so it's like all even, and then just the little patches grew. You're blocking it. Oh, I can't see. The little patches grew, so now there's just like oh, yeah, I red see. hair there. Yeah, do you guys see it? Little patches. Look, it's in the shape of a heart. Chino's got a heart you on him. You probably can't see it, but he has so much red hair. Like it's mixed between dark brown, like really dark, like storm, and then chocolate, mainly chocolate, and then there's red streaks in it. And all the red streaks grow faster than the other stuff. Yeah, because that's a completely red heart. There's actually a heart on our horse. All right, so Gabby's just taking him for a walk. Even though he's doing much better and he didn't seem lame, she is going to take him for a walk. She's going to take this blanket. She's got it all tied up. Okay, you ready to go? All right, here we go. Here we go. It's happening. This is it. First ride in five or six weeks. I have to look back and see. Five weeks? Day. I think five weeks. First ride in five weeks, you guys. All right, six feet apart. So Paige is riding her other horse. How many horses do you have, Paige? Pardon? How many horses do you have? Two. She just has two horses. Two here and two at her house. Right, see, you later. see you later. Enjoy, sister. You want to stay chill right now. Was good? Uh, my feet. <laughs> Are they frozen? 
Because a guy threw a garbage bag on the back of his truck just at the point where we were walking we were past. Well, well, people are so dumb. Like, nice you're walking so Hi, funny. How are you? Is that what you're doing? Are Let that be a lesson to you. Do not wear snow. <laughs> All right, how did he do, Gabby? Good. Fiona said that's good that he got out for a nice walk. That's the first good transition back to running. Matching. Yeah, I noticed you guys matched. Very vibrant in the fields. Really like did you guys like go in the grass or did you stay on the road? Yeah. Oh, nice. Right. Was it fun? You look frozen. We are. How's your coat? My coat's good. It's just my hands and my feet. So Gabby says that his favorite part of the trail is what? On the way home because <laughs> he knows that it's the way home and he just power walks. Power walks. He's like, let's go home. Look. Look at that. She know why is your tail getting thinner? Looking better. Looking she, so she much better. So and his uh uh his sheath is not painful anymore. Did feel she good to ride that in summertime we actually go. Did it feel good to ride him? Yeah. Look, he's got like a heart shaped. I forgot how rip. like long and wide his neck was. He has like a mammoth neck. A mammoth neck? Rolling mammoth. He looks happy. He feels happy. You can see a big difference in him. I noticed a big difference in him he's yesterday. Happy on trails. Yeah. Even if it's working on trails. I noticed that he really was, he probably was really I'm missing he you. He stayed on with all the snow and slush. You oh. thought you were going to fall off? Oh, those stayed on? Yeah. I'm like, what? You thought you were going to fall off? This is what I realized. I do not grab, hold on with my knees. I hold on with my thighs and my calves. Well, that's good, isn't it? Yeah, that's what I'm supposed to do. But if he spooks, I suddenly just hold on with my calves and my thighs, but I could not hold on with my calves, so my thighs could not hold on because of the thing was so slippery that it was making my legs Oh, the fly blanket? Around. The blanket. Oh, so good thing. How, what did he do when he, what did he do when he spooked? <laughs> that's, that's scary that's scary that is it for today you guys today was a busy day we are headed home and we're gonna have a yummy supper and i'm gonna have a hot bath i need a hot tub one hot tub hot tub you guys if any hot tub companies want to sponsor us let me know because i'd be happy to share i'd be happy to work with a hot tub company anyway that is it for today gabby are you happy to have your boy back yeah. Sophie, how come you didn't ride? People are going to ask. Because I don't like trails. Yeah, Sophie does not like trails. She cannot be no, my daughter. Just the next time you get to come and you can ride Furio. Me? No, not you. Uh -huh. Me, ma'am. I'd ride Furio. Yeah. Furio is like a couch. She's big. Sophie rides Furio. Yeah. Ride. Quiet, easy going horse. I don't uh, remember ride him. He's huge. Yeah, but you could just walk with him. He's easy. He's not taller than you know. Sophie definitely is nervous about on trails, but we're going to change that this summer. Can't wait. Oh no, I'm not going on any trails. See you guys tomorrow. Don't you know that you're beautiful? Just the way you are. Just the way you can.